When one thinks of a cup of joe, the city of Seattle usually comes to mind as the de facto coffee capital of the U.S. And it's only fitting that a resident from there has found another use for a byproduct in coffee production. Chris Cascao has more on what's known as coffee flour. For centuries, coffee's value has centered on the bean. But now the so-called coffee cherry, the pulp that gets separated as waste in the production process, holds the promise of profits for inventor and former Starbucks exec Dan Beliveau. Uh, and this, the pulp is fleshy, so, it, so we have to treat it a little differently, but we have to get to it within 24 hours before we start to lose it. The pulp is dried and milled to create what's called coffee flour. Dan believes up to 3.6 billion kilograms of it could be produced worldwide each year, helping farmers earn more for the same crop. We're hoping within a couple of years that when they bring their product to the mills, that they'll just receive more money for what they're doing. One goal, to replace wheat flour as a base ingredient in coffee producing countries. Because those flours tend to be much more costly because they have to import them. They have to import wheat. Uh, so it actually will turn out to be a good substitute at origin countries. Dan is the founder of Seattle-based CF Global Holdings, the company behind the effort, which says it has startup capital to last through at least 2016. It already has production operations on three continents, and it's quickly growing. For the past two years, Crush Restaurant in Seattle has served as the first test kitchen for recipes with coffee flour. And making dishes with coffee flour is a process that involves a lot of trial and error. We've substituted coffee flour in where cocoa powder would be in 100% ratios, so we've gotten a healthier product out of it in the end and a much more unique flavor. And CF Global believes its invention will protect farmers against the often volatile coffee bean commodity trade. Because we're dealing in a much more stable market in the wheat, in the flour markets, in those ingredient markets, which tend not to fluctuate as big as, as what we've seen in the coffee market in recent years. If we do this correct, we can literally uh, improve the lives of mil millions of coffee farmers as well as uh, improve the environments. Big dreams banking on a new demand for coffee beyond the bean. Chris Cascajo, CCTV, Seattle.